How's it going everyone? It's been a long time, but I'm back with the Da Vinci Resolve tutorial. Okay guys, so it really has been a long time. I don't even remember my last tutorial. It was a music tutorial, but today I have a special tutorial because, you know, I've upgraded DaVinci Resolve. It's not really that different, so all of my other tutorials will pretty much work on DaVinci Resolve 14 and 12.55. But in this one, we have a special kind of video because I would like to be talking about time remapping. Now, time remapping is basically the concept of remapping time, slower or faster. What do you do? So, in DaVinci Resolve, there are ways to time remap, just like most video editing softwares. We are going to remap some videos and make them slower and faster. I'm going to show you how to get it smooth and not choppy looking coming up. Okay guys, so we're here in the timeline. So we have some B-roll guys. This is just very basic B-roll. Um, we're gonna drag it into the timeline. It has no audio track because it's B-roll. I got rid of the audio track. But this is a good video to test it on because we can kind of see. Okay. We kind of want to make that... Oh, funny story about this B-roll. I shot this in the bathroom because it had two white surfaces and it was the easiest place to get really good lighting. So there's a part where the toilet comes into view. It's just, it's like I had to crop that out in post, which was not hard, but I did. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna split. So we want this clip to be faster. I want it to kind of play through kind of fast. Now it's kind of hard to see time remapping on the playback screen, but this will give you the idea and it will work. Okay guys, so there's two ways of doing this, the easier way and the harder way. So you just right click on it, there's retime controls and there's change clip speed. I personally think change clip speed is so much easier, so we're going to do that. Boom, right there. So speed is at 100%, that's what it should normally be at. We are going to do this, we're going to bring it up to 300%, three times the speed. Or 400%, that's good enough. What you want to do is you want to hit ripple sequence. This will allow it to be smoother and to kind of flow. If you go, this in the case of slow motion will basically make it look weird. It will make it, if, if you go too slow, it will warp. But it also, if you do kind of basic slow motion, it will make it look very, very smooth. Change. Boom. When we hit ripple sequence, it also makes, it shifts the entire timeline. So, it made it fast. Boom, clip's over. Now you can't really see it, but that's the speed of the clip. Now let's say, hmm, this is the goofy shot with the bath, the toilet in the background. Yeah, very professional. Okay, we're gonna make that slower. We're gonna make that a slower clip. Let's select it, and you can do individuals, obviously not the entire timeline. Right click, change clip speed, all right, let's bring it down to, let's do a little bit less than half. Oh, a little bit more than half, sorry. Ripple sequence, boom. It will make it bigger. It's really hard to see, but it'll sort of smooth it out for us when we do slow motion. All right, we can make it even faster than that. Change clip speed. Let's go to 40, change. Boom, that's long. See how it's kind of smooth, it's smoother, it's not as choppy. In some cases, if you go so smooth, it will start to create a warping effect, which will look really goofy. Another big hint, and every professional filmmaker will tell you this, because honestly, there's only so much you can do for stabilization and time remapping in post. So honestly, what you want to do with time remapping is most smartphones shoot in at least 60 frames a second. Some even go up to 120 and 240. Most basic cameras, for instance, the camcorder, shoots in 120 frames a second. 
Now, if you just if you take a clip and you put it in 120 frames per second, the way you'll make that slow is you will basically take it in as a 120 frame per second clip, and then when you render it, you render it as either a 30 frame per second video, which will be four times slower, or 60 frames per second, which is a half. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helped you do some time remapping and make sure you take that tip. It's a great tip. Shoot in 60 or 120 frames per second. It will make your slow motion look so much smoother and so much easier to do. When you just slow shoot in 120 frames per second, it looks great. Trust me. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. See ya!